Today, Will I Am was on campus here at Colorado State University. He was here to support Obama in his campaign. Let's take a look at what he has to say. Will I Am, everybody. What's up, everybody? Well, I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that's because I love my country. And it's important that I came here to your college to remind you to register to vote before Tuesday. I'm supposed to be in London right now, but I'm here. I was like, I just, I just stopped by here before I fly to London. But it's a clear choice and a good choice because we can't mess around. We gotta keep on on the path and support the person that's fighting for the things that we believe in, the things that we need for our future. We can't get hypnotized by, you know, slick talkers and, and, and folk that take advantage of slumber. We can't go back to sleep. We were asleep in 2000, in 2000. <laughs> we were asleep. And 9-11 woke us up in 2001, and you would think that we would have triumphed after that because we had the world support. But then we went back to sleep, and the world and America got worse. And we united and elected Barack Obama as our president. That was because of people, us. We did that. We have to look at what's blocking Barack Obama from doing the things that we all want him to do. Something's wrong with America, and it sure isn't us. It isn't you guys who committed yourself to go to college and dedicated. It's this other thing that's behind it all. And we have to stand behind our president and go out and vote. And not just vote, but, de but, but be devoted. We have to devote ourselves to changing our lives, our families' lives, and our community. That's why I'd rather be here at your college, what up, Ram? <laughs> you know, I perform in front of a whole lot of people and I don't really get nervous. But before I was, I came on this stage was pretty big. <laughs> I was a little nervous. What am I gonna tell these kids? How am I gonna tell them to go out and vote? How am I gonna tell them to commit themselves? for not just four years, but 20 years? How am I gonna encourage them not to just look for jobs, but create jobs? America needs you guys. It needs me, it needs us. Or else it's gonna be in the hands of business folk that do things that aren't in our best interest financially, education, and health. It isn't like America's the most healthiest nation. We know that's not true. It isn't like we're leading in education. We know that's not true. But we have the best schools in America, and it's not like we're keeping the brightest minds in America, because they don't have visas. So we know that's not true. So why are all these things that are just, they should be morals and logical, why are they not, in rea uh, why have we manifested that in America? That's because the people that are doing that aren't really connected to how we look at the world that we live in. So the only thing that represents us in politics is Barack Obama because he's there because of us. If it was up to them, we wouldn't have a president of African descent. We wouldn't have that if it was left to them to decide. That was our decision. So we can't take that for granted and you know go back to life as normal and refresh our thrones. We have to take that seriously. And that's why I'm here, because I'm serious about it. I take my money that I make from the peas, and I send kids to college debt-free so they don't have to worry about ever paying me back but succeeding. Because I believe, you know? And I'm committed. And this is a pretty fresh college. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out and hearing these few words. Thank you. Please go out and tell your friends. 
to vote and uh, register to vote before Tuesday. And not just your friends, people that aren't your friends, strangers. If you're in an elevator, just don't sit there quiet like we all do. Start dialogue about how this election is important to move forward. We need you guys. Thank you guys so much. Woo!